Hi, good morning, Kirsten and Anthony. Yeah, as you said there right now, breaking news this morning, just in the last few minutes, we are hearing from Egyptian media that right now a second shipment of 17 trucks bringing humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip to these besieged Palestinians is taking place currently right now. Again, that is according to Egyptian media and the Associated Press. Now, also, we want to mention just in the last hour, we are also hearing of an explosion in the Gaza Strip. Those are live pictures you are looking at right now. You can see smoke coming out of the Strip. We are working to confirm more details about this explosion. And as we have them, we will bring them to you. Meantime, here at home for the last two weeks, thousands of people have been coming out to speak out on both sides of this conflict. People really want to get their voices heard. And for the most part, these protests, rallies, demonstrations and vigils have been peaceful in nature. But yesterday, things became violent. As more than 5,000 people marched through the streets of Bay Ridge Saturday, this originally peaceful rally quickly turned fraught. Police say things got heated between officers and pro-Palestinian ralliers when protesters stayed in the roadway after being asked to move to the sidewalk. Ralliers say they tried to move, but the crowds made it difficult. Andrew then recorded this video. After um, a, uh, a speech of, to free Palestine was uh, done, the strategic response for uh, the NYPD immediately resorted to throwing punches. <laughs> Police say they played an announcement ordering people to clear the roads before officers formed a human barricade. We were clearing the roads and some of the people who were uh, ordered to be on the sidewalk were on the sidewalk and were punched regardless. About the violence, the NYPD says there was no permit for the protest and while most in the crowd were peaceful, quote, officers were pushed, shoved and struck by some demonstrators within the crowd after the LRAD device was utilized. Officers were struck with flying debris which included eggs fireworks and bottles. Officers responded to this disruptive behavior and attempted to regain order by taking into custody those responsible for these actions. In the course of doing so, the officer seen in the video is reacting to active resistance by criminals within the crowd. The NYPD encourages peaceful protests, but will not condone our officers being subjected to any form of violence. Free, free Palestine! The escalation came hours into the protest in which thousands of demonstrators waved flags and chanted. It comes as right now in Gaza, humanitarian aid is slowly starting to make its way into the Strip. President Biden has also called for billions in aid for Israel and Ukraine. Back at home, many saying they wanted to come to this demonstration to shed light on the ongoing conflict with Israel and Gaza. Let's suppose you own a house and someone just comes and settles in your house. Okay, that's weird, but let's suppose they did it through some force. All of a sudden, every time you get out of your room, they're like, hang on a second. Why are you getting out of your room? Where you got to go? These are what settlements and colonization looks like. This is what they're doing right now to the Palestinian people. So throughout this week, there will be more protests, demonstrations and vigils throughout our area here in the tri-state. Tonight, there will actually be a candlelight vigil at the Holocaust Memorial and Tolerance Center of Nassau County. That'll be taking place at four this afternoon. Now that is the latest from the east side. Kieran Dillon, PIX11 News.